Bernie says, congratulations to the Starbucks Workers United on the historic achievement of organizing the first ever union at a company-owned Starbucks in the United States. The company should stop pouring money into the fight against the union and negotiate a fair contract now. Anyway, the new Gilded Age yes. 2750 planet. What the f the new Gilded Age, 2,750 people have more wealth than half the planet. Let's go. Let's Fear go. Hell. Woo. I'm a part of it. I'm in the top right there. I'm in the top 2,750 people. Yeah. It's like I make up the bulk of it, to be honest. Waiting for a song, five hour, 13 minute timestamp. My link don't work. Buffalo Starbucks unionized. Let's go Komodo hype. We're going to talk about that. Don't read the chat. I mean, don't read anything else. Your mic. Oh, I know. I said I'm singing you a song. Put that on the left. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. These are lyrics I made. <laughs> okay, just uh, try not to read this. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm oh, gonna yeah. sing. Okay, I, I made up these lyrics, right? <clears throat> okay, actually, you might need to scroll down for me a little bit. How will I do that? I'm reading the lyrics. Oh, you know what? You're right. I'll do it when you're right. Test. Test, test. Been having a rough time lately, Every day but your stream helps keep me sane. Thank you, Rajan Hass. It's finally time, waiting for Hassan to stream and ask us how's my chat today. I miss you guys, but we know he's a wheezy little liar. Oh no, oh fine, I f***ed up. Um, <laughs> every hour I, I sit down, refresh the page. No matter how far apart his streams are, I will stay up till he goes live. And I smile through my tears. Where is he now? Waiting for his son. God, I have chills, dude. Okay, mute the mic again. We're gonna go back to DJing and farming. I'm just a simple farmer, man. That was insane, dude. I have, I have chills. Okay, chills, dude. Hot house chest. Okay, dude. We don't don't bat chest me. Okay, it's that was beautiful. God damn. We're officially back on the good timeline. Yes, Lily Pichu has restored order to the universe with her incredible talent an artistic vision finally there is some delicate balance struck back okay all right let's do it daycare is open folks what a beautiful way to start god damn i think we as a society and we certainly as a platform do not deserve lily pichu okay i'll just say it the only person who meets the metric the bar is michael reeves that's it nobody else And have continued. And MP Law, my lo my, my, ah, my son loves doing the 25 Gitters dance with you. Oh. My God. 
since Ludwig left, are you going to fill the vacuum and become French? I would never do that. I would never do that. I would not like that. I would not do that. Wow, yeah. Are you feeling about the workload? I think the workload is, is a lot, but it doesn't really matter because ultimately I love what I do. And you guys are the reason why I love what I do. So, hey, you know, I went through something, you know, and I feel like fans went through something and people's parents went through something. And it's, you know, it, it really, you know, it hurts. It hurts the community, it hurts the, the city. Stop. Oh, no. Even though Felix may have been shorter than us, he had 6 5 energy for supporting all of us at SB Workers United at the Chapo Show in Buffalo. By the way, congratulations. I was so mad when I saw you guys were 6'5". Congratulations to the Starbucks uh, union in Buffalo. That's it, baby. They did it. Um, Kind of surprising that there isn't like a lot of... At the first of the three Buffalo area Starbucks that voted, the workers voted overwhelmingly 198 in favor of unionizing, making it the very first company operated Starbucks in the nation to be unionized. The NLRB will now count ballots for the other two cafes. That's right. Starbucks location on Elmwood Avenue in Buffalo has voted to become the Starbucks' first unionized store in the United States with a vote of 19 to 8. Pretty good. <laughs> We'll get to the Travis Scott thing in a second. Let's talk about this for a moment. So this has been a long effort. It's a historic day uh, where Starbucks workers uh, united have successfully unionized the first two Starbucks stores in America and won a majority of votes across all three, three stores in Buffalo today. Three more Buffalo stores and one in Mesa, Arizona store will hold union elections in the coming months. Obviously, Starbucks corporate was very, very focused on... Obviously, Starbucks corporate was very very focused on what the f is this oh my god okay there's so much there's too much content i'm done my brain is fried right now okay i am there is too much going on stop it literally dial back the f content dude what is happening right now i just got started I just got started. Are you kidding me? Anyway, bro, you're 30 minutes in. Look at tabs. Yeah, it's bananas right now, dude. I came in late to work. And now it's like I got all this. The, the managers came in. The, the 30,000 micromanagers came rushing in with like paperwork. Like, boom, dumping it on. Dumping it on my chest. Hey, look at this. Hey, you got a lot of work to do, kid. Kiddo. What happens when you're late to work, dude? Okay, 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 okay. Fuck, I'm trying to focus so hard. Weak man during many content, strong man when little content. Anyway, Starbucks was hyper-focused on the unionization efforts there, and the real reason why they were hyper-focused on the unionization efforts there is because once you start unionizing some of the locations, well then, oh no, folks, that is no bueno. That means other locations will also start recognizing that united, they can bargain, but divided, they beg. And when that starts happening, all of a sudden, the profit margins are going to start shrinking for the shareholders while the stakeholders, i.e., uh, or just the workers in this situation, well, the workers are going to be doing a lot better. Now, Starbucks already offers a f load of benefits, okay? A f load of benefits in comparison to comparable, you know, coffee chains and in comparison to fast food. They do. They really do. They, they will literally, I think like, People have told me they've paid for like gender confirmation surgeries and shit. Like they're, they're actually pretty good, right? Especially if you are, um, especially if you are a part of their workforce for an extended period of time. So that is, uh, because of that, it, I think kind of stands in the way of unionization. Okay. Like it makes it a little bit harder from the point of view of like people who are like, well, I still get really good benefits and I do feel like a family or whatever the f you know what I mean? So, um, so technically that actually makes it harder to unionize, uh, cause horrific workplace conditions, uh, create a frustrated labor force and it creates an opportunity ripe for radicalization. But, uh, these guys, these, uh, folks over in Buffalo, uh, pushed and pushed and pushed. They had actual 
Uh, they had actual corporate leadership come to the Buffalo branches and uh, basically, you know, do insane things like clean the floors themselves. And so, you know, that was, that was a really interesting thing to track, but it's awesome. What is the likelihood of some of the Starbucks union getting suicided with two? What? No, dude. What the? F dude, this isn't like Latin America. Okay. We're not talking about like labor organizers at the Coca-Cola plant, dude. There's no, there's none of that. That is not going to happen at mo First of all, that doesn't even need to happen. There are a million different things that Starbucks corporate could do. That is, is like, you know, still significant in standing in front of like other Starbucks also trying to unionize labor slash civic leaders get clapped daily in Latin America. That's why I said it's not Latin America. Okay. Like there's no clapping labor organizers here. Um, anyway. Bernie says, congratulations to the Starbucks Workers United on the historic achievement of organizing the first ever union at a company owned Starbucks in the United States. The company should stop pouring money into the fight against the union and negotiate a fair contract now. Also, I like my coffee black with no sugar. And that's pretty much it. That's all I want is coffee, black coffee with no sugar um donald trump joe biden and bernie sanders are the most favored figures in the country very favorable at 18 percent. joe biden oh dude donald trump is still bro donald trump 44 percent net favorability rating along with joe byron and bernie sanders but joe biden's unfavorability is at 51 percent, whereas bernie's is at 41 kamala harris is at 49 oh god we are so dead dude what is this the anti-work subreddit is a bunch of the anti-work subreddit is a bunch of idiotic 15 year olds. I think they deserve 25 an hour for working at McDonald's is garbage and full of morons. First of all, what the f do you mean? Like what, why, why shouldn't someone who works at McDonald's like, what, what are you? Are you a McDonald's dude? Are you Ronald? Are you Ronaldo dude? Are you Ronald McDonald in the chat? Boys, give a, give a round of applause for Ronald McDonald. Mr. Mr. Donald is in here, dude. That's crazy, bro. Do you know where you're at right now? You're like talking shit about like, look, there might be some people that are delusional in the anti-work subreddit. I don't know. I haven't really browsed it at all. And it's also Reddit after all. So there's going to be weirdos regardless. But this idea that like, uh, you know, you would be simping for the bottom line of the McDonald's franchise owner rather than the workers is so weird. Unless you like straight up own a bunch of franchises, I guess. You laugh much more when you have guests on it that you thrive when you have someone to interact with. What an interesting person, dude. No, I'm skimping for McDonald's at all. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, the delusional ones. I don't think it's that delusional for someone to want to make a working, want to make a livable salary while working at McDonald's. Just because that labor is supposedly quote-unquote replaceable does not change the reality that it's still creating a load of profit for the franchise itself. And not only profit, but regardless of the profit that it's creating for the franchise itself, it's also... It's, it's a job that you need to do. Like someone needs to do that job. Someone needs to flip the burgers. Someone needs to clean the bathrooms. It's kind of ridiculous to make this assumption that, uh, you know, just because it's a, uh, before the anti-work subreddit is extremely cringe, but not for that reason. I don't know. I don't go there. Okay. Uh, it's a subreddit. The only subreddit I care about is okay, buddy. And that's it. Members of the popular subreddit r slash anti-work are coordinating the flood Kellogg's application system and thwart the company's attempt to hire scabs to replace 14,000, 1,400 shrinking workers. See, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. My current Starbucks partners have been slowly trying to radicalize my coworkers and introduce some concepts of unionize over the last few years. This is a huge boon, but it is difficult to cut through all the programming that unions are bad doing. This is in a very anti-union state though. Too low. Yeah. Um, so what is this? I've never been more ashamed to be an American. Okay. We'll look at this in a second. There's a lot of cringe in every subreddit that makes it to the top of r slash all. Yes, because Reddit is cringe. So when Reddit is cringe, the people that are on Reddit are going to be cringe. So any subreddit that hits like a certain number is going to have a boatload of cringe. There's only two speeds on Reddit. You either go full cringe or you go full Nazi. When you go full, you get banned. Okay, that's it. I have been, I've spent enough time on Reddit to know that that is the reality. I've also kept my karma down enough that I have not become one of those two concepts. No, it's about the karma. If you are karma farming, and there's motherfuckers in here that do it regularly. Austin Ox is one of them. Ninjite is another one. All you flippers and shippers. If you're karma farming, you're either cringe or one or the other. That's it. That's just the reality. I'm sorry. 
you're looking for fucking up dudes okay if you're like oh my god thank you for the thank you for the gold kind sir if you say shit like that well then you're you could be either you're either mega cringe or omega cringe one or the other okay covid feminizes you yeah we already yes. we covered this on leftovers too doesn't replaceability kind of affect potential employees mindsets like saying it's replaceable they can just justify paying lower wages but on the flip side the pool of employees will feel that the job has no security and is not worth working listen replaceability is the key factor in or rather the market conditions that allow for lower wages for jobs that actually create a lot of value okay that's the point i already have a bot running against the kellogg thing i'll post the link to the repo when it's done hell yeah Sean the Black, don't do that. I would hate for one of my VIPs to make yet another bot to pollute the applications process. That would be so terrible. What? You stop that now. Okay. Anyway, um, please don't do that. I will certainly not post that link and spam it when it's readily available. That would be terrible. Joe Rogan flip-flopping on his opinion on vaccines. Stop it. The duality of man and short film. Oh, this is with Michael uh, Osterholm. When, like, he was ahead of the curve in, in front of everybody with the COVID shit. Okay, anyway, uh, Kellogg's, okay. Um, I think the bulk of my, uh, the bulk of the, the, the strike funds that, uh, the money that we raised for the strike funds is probably going to go to the Kellogg's workers, most likely. I'm going to coordinate with Jonah Furman and a bunch of other friends of mine uh, that are in this space to figure out who needs it the most but since john deere already you know got their contract since john deere already got their contract i can't give it to them so seventeen thousand new union members the number of u.s union members just increased by 0.1 percent that's a big deal breaking the uc agrees to recognize sru uaw in its entirety fuck yeah this historic victory is brought about by the tireless efforts of thousands of SRs who organized to win a union and a direct response to our massive strike authorization vote. Now let's win a strong contract for all SRs. Wild. Anyway, Activision Blizzard is going on strike too. They could use it. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some fucking, you know, funds going for the boys over at Activision Blizzard. All right. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. So we got some unionization going. Nice try, Mr. House Stoning Grifter. But I saw one of my favorite Twitter lefties say you were lying about donating to strike funds. So I've already made up my mind about you. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm a grifter. I'm a fake. I'm a phony. The only real ones are the ones that have like their own sub stacks that aren't popping off. But it's fine. It's going to pop off eventually. Uh, the moment that like everybody recognizes that they are the real uh, working class individuals. And I'm just a phony, okay? You hear about the Blizzard employees stealing coworkers' breast milk? What? The f do you do with breast milk, bro? That is deranged behavior. What the f Twitter post about baby going on strike? Activision Blizzard employees are taking one more step towards unionization today, calling for workers across the company to sign union authorization cards in support of a union. They launched a GoFundMe page with a goal of one million to create funds for striking. Story to come. Oh my f god, dude. Oh shit the strike fund announced uh announcement was time with the game awards to garner more attention workers confirmed to me well our story is updated with the new, new art details from a contractor who signed with the union card and the cwa union commenting on activision blizzard oh shit dude oh shit that's pretty good that's pretty good Activision. Of unionizing. Okay. Why won't you agree to lick Joe's ball for the greater good, coward? First of all, first of all, what are we getting? What are we getting out of this? Huh? What, what, do you, what do you mean? If I lick Joe's bald head, what do I get? Do we get Medicare for all? Do I get to go on the Joe Rogan experience? Because I would lick his bald head for less. You lick Joe's balls every stream already? Yeah, totally. Me, the number one Joe ball licker. I will suck his, the tip of his bald head. Okay, I'll go. 
If America got Medicare for all, do it in a heartbeat. You get a free ayahuasca a trip. Yeah. When you suck Joe's bald head, you get high. You get like a, instead of a contact high, you get like ayahuasca highs from his sweat glands pouring DMT in ayahuasca. Anyone who says they wouldn't do that is a piece of shit. What are you not going to lick Joe's bald head? I would lick Joe's bald head for an entire day if that's what it took to get Medicare for all for everyone. Okay. For the entire day, for the entire duration of the day, I would just lick it nonstop. If that's how you got Medicare for all, what will you do if there's a red wave in 2022? You mean, what will I do when there's a red wave in 2022? I don't know. Keep covering the news. What do you mean? Keep trying to get people to organize. What about his long nipples? Would you nibble then for healthcare? We already talked about that. Yeah, I said I would suckle on his long nips for healthcare for sure. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>